Last night, I had the pleasure of attending the launch event of two new Triumph models over at the bike shed in London. We have the all new Triumph Speed 400 and the Triumph Scrambler 400X. Both absolutely stunning models. Um, let me know what you think of these bikes in the comments section below. The Speed 400 joining the modern classic lineup of the Speed Twins, etc. Um, very look, good looking bike, obviously takes some design cues from its bigger, older brothers, um, but wow, what a good looking bike. A very small, compact um, modern classic, great for first time riders, very light, um, so it's really easy to pick up. It's quite low to the ground, so easy to get your feet on the ground if you are a shorter rider. Um, both The same goes for both of the two new models. Um, both really good looking. I think I actually preferred the look of the Scrambler. Um, it's got that more rugged appeal to it, which I like. Um, but let's go into some more details about the finer points about the bikes now. Today's video is sponsored by Bikeshore Motorcycle Insurance. Bikeshore treat every customer as an individual and they can find you a policy no matter whether your bike is the normalest bike in the world or the craziest thing you've ever seen, whether it's a custom bike, a classic bike, a sports classic, a modern classic, um, they can find you a policy. And if you're struggling with some unusual circumstances that non-specialist brokers are finding it hard to insure you on, Bikeshore can help you out with that as well. Uh, both myself and the old man use Bikeshore and we couldn't be happier with them. So please do check the link in the description and get your quote today, even try and get a quote for these two new Triumphs in this video. So starting off with the looks and design of both of these models, both have been designed in the UK in Hinkley. Um, they really do have a distinct Triumph look about them. You can tell instantly that they are a Triumph. Um, you know, they've got that silhouette of a Roadster and the Scrambler. They do look very similar to their um, older brothers. Um, you've got that signature sculpted tank with a knee indent, which is very um, characteristic of a Triumph. Um, you have got the fin cylinder head and the exhaust header clamps, which are also, you know, distinct Triumph characteristics. Contemporary upswept silencer to keep it in the um, 21st century. Is that what century we're in? I can't remember. Uh, but that gives it a modern touch. So it's, it's a modern touch, hence why they're modern classics. And each are available in a choice of three specific model colours. So the Speed 400 um, has a two-tone paint schemes, each featuring the Triumph tank graphic. Um, you've got Carnival Red, which is what we saw the bike in last night. Very nice colour. It's kind of a more of a crimson red. It's quite a dark red, which is nice. You've got Caspian Blue and Phantom Black colours available as well. And then the Scrambler 400X comes in Carnival Red again, Phantom Black plus the Phantom Black and Silver Ice options. And you've got the matte khaki green and Fusion White, which is what we saw the bike in last night. Very nice, really sets off that rugged tone very nicely. So really like it in that colour. Um, just what an amazing looking pair of bikes. The part of these new models which I'm most excited about is the new engine. We have a fuel injected and liquid cooled 398cc single cylinder engine which has Triumph's modern classic design and styling very similar to that of its older brothers with the black powder coated engine casings etc and the design cues from those bikes. Um, technical highlights include a four valve double overhead cam cylinder head and crankshaft that has been perfectly weighted and balanced to optimize inertia for low speed rideability. So effectively you are going to feel torque from low down in the rev range and all the way up where its peak power comes in at 8000 rpm. So this is a revy bike and it's going to feel pretty linear throughout the rev range. So this is going to be really interesting to ride when we manage to get our hands on the bike. We've got a six speed gearbox, um, which is you know what you would expect. You've got 40 PS peak power, which is 39.5 brake horsepower. Um, and that is peaking at 8,000 RPM and it will produce 37.5 Newton meters of torque at six and a half thousand RPM. 
Um, this engine exceeds Euro 5 emissions. Um, now, the Triumph say it will have a rich and distinctive exhaust note, which is quite the case with all the Triumphs. They do sound good, but of course, with the Euro 5 emissions means that bikes are quieter than they used to be. So, someone like myself, I would opt for a aftermarket exhaust to really get that tone and unleash the true sound of that engine. Um, this is just sounds really good on paper, to be honest with you. So I'm very much looking forward to getting behind the bars of one of these bikes. Moving on to the rider feel and the chassis setup for both of these bikes. Um, the Speed 400 has a seat height of 790 millimeters, while the Scrambler is 835 millimeters. So both these bikes sit relatively low. So if you are a shorter rider, you'll have no trouble getting on and off this bike and maneuvering at low speed, putting your feet down shouldn't be an issue. The Speed weighs 170 kg, while the Scrambler weighs 179 kg. So both are light and they do feel light to sit on. Um, so again, leaning them over, they'll be nice and agile in the twisties and nice and easy to manoeuvre at low speeds. Both bikes have their own model specific chassis setup. So you've got a new frame, bolt on rear subframe and a cast aluminium swing arm and specific suspension setups for each bike. The Speed has a large 43 millimeter big piston upside down front forks, monoshock rear suspension with external reservoir. You've got lightweight 17 inch wheels um, for the roadster style and geometry um, and wheelbase. Front brake, you've got a four piston caliper uh, with a 300 mil front disc. Um, and then on the Scrambler, you've got a 320 mil front disc. Um, an optimised pad compound to give you that better braking performance in all conditions. Um, on the Scrambler, you've got a longer wheelbase, a longer travel suspension, larger 19 inch front wheel and wider handlebars for better stability on loose surfaces. Moving on to some key features of this, both these bikes, you've got ride by wire throttle. Um, so it gives you that linear power delivery. You have got switchable traction control on both models. So if you want to turn it off, you can. I wouldn't probably bother, but if you want to go sideways, you can. Um, dual channel ABS, which is switchable on the Scrambler for off-road use. So if you are doing some off-road um, riding on the Scrambler, you can switch the ABS off. You've got torque assist clutch, which reduces the clutch lever effort. So um, you're not going to get that hand cramp if you're riding in the city and you're going in and out of traffic and you keep having to stop start then that feature is absolutely brilliant all led lighting so it's um yeah all led really powerful headlights so really nice and you've got the new dual format instruments so you've got an analog speedometer which looks really nice uh, but you've also got an LCD screen integrated on there with a digital tachometer, a fuel range remaining indicator and a gear indicator, um, clearly visible in all lighting conditions. Um, you also have a conveniently located USB-C charging socket, um, so you can charge any handle-mounted devices. So if you, like myself, use your phone as a sat-nav, then you can charge it on the go. Um, and you also have factory fitted security. So both models come equipped with a steering lock, um, an anti-theft immobiliser standard, um, and the transponder chip integrated into the key ensures that only the rider, the owner of the bike, can start the engine. Um, Price-wise, we don't have a price for these bikes yet. So they will launch in India starting from next month. So these bikes are going to India first, which is, um, well, it's not surprising as they're a low capacity bike. Motorcycles are extremely popular in India um, and this is really going to rival some Royal Enfield. So um, it kind of sits very much in between, power-wise, the classic 350 or the Hunter, more likely the Hunter, it's quite similar, um, but it's got a lot more power than the Hunter, double. Um, and it sits just below the interceptor and obviously it's a 400 not a 650 so really interesting 
it's going to be interesting to see what the price is. Um, but it doesn't launch in the UK and other markets until the start of 2024. So that's when we'll get the prices for our UK bikes. So no idea how much it's going to cost. I'm very interested to find out because I think that will be a deciding factor for a lot of people. You've got two-year unlimited mileage warranty from Standard. You've got class-leading 10,000 miles service intervals, so you're not constantly going in for a service. Um, so really, on paper, these bikes sound fantastic. Let's wait and see what the price will be like for both of these models. Um, let me know in the comments section down below whether you think these will be a hit or a miss.